Hello and welcome to another one of my C++ tutorials. What we're going to be doing today is just making a ball that moves around the screen. Uh, just follow what I do and um, you should be good. So you click here and click here. They have a at A. Click OK. And then uh, we're ready to start working in there. So let's include our libraries. Allegro.h and this time we're going to include the the CSTD lib and uh, here we go just watch and uh, again I'm learning as well so don't feel bad if you don't get this integer temp x is equal to 100 as well and integer temp y is going to be given the value of 100 as well and we're going to have an integer called direction and it's going to be 1. Direction 1 means that the direction is towards the top left. Here we go. We're going to our void and I'm going to name my void uh, move circle. Okay, and here we go. So temp x is equal to x. I'm giving it the value of x. Temp y is equal to y. Okay, now let's go to our if else statement. If direction 1, actually direction is equal to 1, and um, x is not equal to 20, and then y is not equal to 20, so in that case we close that thing right there, minus minus x, minus minus y. Okay, close it. Else if, let me just copy this because I don't feel like rewriting it. Copy, paste. Direction is equal to 2, which is the top bottom, or, uh, the left bottom corner. And we're going to change this value to 460. In that case, minus minus x plus plus y. Here we go again. We're going to copy this thing right here again. Copy and paste it. Else if direction, this time we go to 3. Uh, this we're going to change back to 20. And this goes to 620. In that case, the x has been boosted. So x plus plus and uh, minus minus y since it's back to 20 copy this code again because we don't feel like writing it all over uh, paste it direction this time it's going to be 4 and both values are going to be changed to their max 460 and then it's going to display plus plus y and plus plus x okay and now we're going to go to the uh, uh, else statement <coughs> or the else part of the if statement I should say so else um, it's gonna be direction is equal to rand and this is a sign called modulus 4 plus 1 and then uh, we're just gonna close it right there and um, that should be it for that part right there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put something called acquire the screen it's another code so acquire a screen and um, we're going to start working on the parts where it's, it gets a bit confusing circle fill this is where I'm actually making the circle now there I was making the movement of the circle in the void but now I'm actually going to make the circle in there so circle um, it's going to be screen temp x temp y um, 20 make the color 0 0 0 that circle fill screen ten, or actually I'm just going to put x and y 20 make the color 128 2250 okay and I'm gonna release the screen 
and then uh, I'm gonna put a rest of 10 in there okay so then we close the void so we've, we're done with the void now now let's go to our integer uh, main the main function and uh, we have to include um, these things right here the the uh, allegro init uh, install the keyboard Um, we have to uh, set the color uh, def to 16 and uh, we have to set the graphics so set GFX uh, mode GFX auto detect windowed and this is the screen 640 480 zero, zero. And um, after that, what we're going to do is put a while right there. And we're going to give the user a chance to exit from the game. So we're going to put key um, escape because it's most commonly used to escape from things. So escape, and um, we're going to do this. Let's go up here, copy this. This is our void, so we're gonna, we want to put it in here so the game is in here. So you paste it in there and um, after that you uh, reclose this and we're almost done you put a return zero again you want to close the main function I mean the the main uh, int and then um, after that we're pretty much done you're just gonna put end of main uh, I'm sure I made a mistake but it's gonna just correct me if I did save it as, I'm just going to put project, actually I'm just going to overwrite what I already have so there it is, you have your um, your moving ball um, pardon my screen, it's pretty small but that's the ball that's moving around and it's hitting the walls and it's um, changing directions um, from that so uh, that's that's how you make that, it's, it's a good thing to start working with um, it's very interesting actually and uh...